Alright, time for the next installment of the Beginner's Guide series. Today I will be playing some Zen against a Belveth here, which is okay matchup wise, really. I mean, not really to anything too worried. Because she doesn't really do that much against me early game since a very good, very good, strong early game champion. So that should be good. I am a tiny bit confused as to who is going mid and bot lane. Okay, I, th I was expecting it's going to be Aurelian Soul and Mumu bot, which it was. But the Nico showed us Aurelian Soul and got me confused. I mean, Aurelian Soul, even though he got hold fixed, still quite a good champion at the moment. So, I, I suppose... Now, for the Beginner's Guide series, there is a playlist in the description that you can check out. Um, this will have all the champions in it, so if you're looking for a champion, make sure to go there. See the chat, look, uh, well, look if it's there yet. There are still some missing at this moment in time, but I upload daily, so they should be filled in for the most part. And yeah. Starting off with E here, this gives attack speed, which makes it just the best one to get first. Because it just allows you to... Uh, uh, do the most damage out of a single skill. Nice. Yeah. That uh, looks to be whatever for a leash. I'm just gonna smite here. Uh, one thing to note about Zin's cooldowns for the jungle clear is that you want to use your E and your W before you press Q because your Q will lower the cooldown of both. But that's something to look at, um, which is something you'll see me do consistently throughout this game. It also works for Zin Ultimate as well, the Q cooldown reduction. So as long as you've used your ultimate, try to Q as much as possible. Uh, the other way, like, I mean, Q is just... Enhances your attack, so... The third hit will do a knock-up. Uh, that's something to uh, definitely keep in mind. Your W is just some AoE damage. If it hits, like, a champion at range, you will... Um, you will be able to dash towards that because you're going to get a very increased dash range if that hits, which I'm sure you'll see throughout this game. And, well, yeah. The Zin ultimate knocks people away from you if it's not your primary target. Otherwise, like, it just does, like, percentage current HP damage, so you kind of want to use it early on in a fight if you're going to try to burst somebody out. Using that early will help you a lot with that. Plus, it also puts a shield around you, which... Pretty much make like it just makes you invulnerable for damage coming from outside of the range. So it's very good to counter like uh, 80 carries and stuff. We're gonna just full clear here. Full clearing is definitely the way to go because it just by far most consistent thing. It just allows the enemy jungler to make a bunch of mistakes and for you to just be super consistent, which is definitely the way you want to go. She is pushing in quite far, so she should be a pretty good gank opportunity here in a bit. Keeping my eye out on him, out on him right now to see if he walks to the river. To see if he goes to ward and stuff, you know. Just gonna walk up. I'll pop the potion here as well. This is warded. It should still be good. Okay, you can see the dash range increase. It doesn't look like my Orn had any business going forward. Oh, that, that one missed. I have my lethal tempo charged. That's aggressive, especially against a fully charged lethal tempo on my end. If she is here, she's... Okay. There was a small window there where my lethal tempo was still fully charged. So if she does walk up, she is dead. She had no vision over me, so she just wanted to like kind of walk past, I suppose, which allowed me to land a free W. Which is quite nice. If the Orn would have walked up a little faster there, I think the other guy could have been dead a bit faster, but yeah. One thing to note, though, for the most part, when you're going for ganks with Zin Zhao, try to, like, close the distance as much as you can before you have to use E. In this situation specifically there, I didn't really have the choice. Like, I kind of had to lead with W if I wanted to get an engage on the Alawi. I was also trying to dance around her to potentially avoid getting hit by her E. Thing, like pulling her shadow i'm probably gonna have to flash here yep. fair play good mumu uh, rotation on that one not much, not much else to be said that's okay with me honestly probably a little greedy going for the bolt scuttle there i'll admit definitely uh took a bit long there you know 
They could get definitely get a dragon here. If I was the enemy team, I'd probably do it. So that's fair. I'm gonna clear some of these camps while they do that. Currently just keeping up like tempo overall. Keeping clear speed up, making sure to use my W and my E before I press Q. I think I'm just gonna go for this full clear here. And then I'm just gonna recall. Yes, I do know I have a lot of gold, and I definitely don't want to be looking for another fight. But if I if they don't do dragon here, which it doesn't seem like they did, I can just full clear now. And then I can recall with very good items and just run to bot lane, get a bot lane kill, look for dragon type deal. That's what I'm gonna do here. So I'm just gonna like clear this next rotation because of the way it like planned out or worked out, I guess. Could have also just recalled right after killing the uh, like pop scuttle. That definitely would not have been a bad choice either. But it's okay. Smite here. Finish this off. There we go. Level six as well. That's very big. So, first item, Gore Drinker. And I'll do this to get some boots as well. Um, something to note, by the way, about, like, tenacity and stuff. They have uh, quite a reasonable amount of CC. Uh, but uh, the blue smite's generally just the best smite now. Because of the way the tenacity stacking got nerfed. Like, you're taking things like Tenacity in your runes. This is definitely a game for Mercs as well. And as soon as you have that, then picking up, like, the Green Smite becomes not great. Because the value of it tremendously drops, if that makes sense. So, that just kind of... You know, if, if I'm going for, like, Steel Caps, perhaps, and then looking for something, then that would be different. I need to go up here, help this guy out. That should be good enough. He gets that guy. I just need to walk, wait for my cooldowns. There we go. What I do there is I land the W max range because it's the only way I'm going to reach him. Then I press E, auto attack first, then Q because it's an auto attack reset. So I hit him for an extra hit there and that finishes him off, which is good. Now, please note here as well, if you see me use Q, you have to look at my ultimate cooldown. As well here you see the ultimate cooldown also lower which is obviously very big because you want that to get as low as possible as quick as possible let's go for this guy the enemy bot lane is not really respecting here same thing there is uh like mock up here one second sorry perfect uh aurelian soul when he does that dash has no way to dodge anything anymore which means that at the end of that dash, I can practically just hit him with a free W and then I can close the distance on him. Now, after all that, we note here that the entire jungle is back up for a clear. So we definitely want to like, prioritize that right now. I'm going to use my uh, active there to clear all the small ones out and use my abilities to kill the rest. No idea what the hell's going on with these pings on bot lane, but... Make sure to use all my abilities and then Q. Use Q as frequently as possible when your ult's on cooldown. Because you want to lower that cooldown as fast as you can. I'm actually going to move for Top Scuttle first here and see if she is doing it. Slash if she's doing Rift Herald. And then I can look for the other stuff. Because this is a more contested camp. My wolves really won't be a contested camp, if you know what I mean. So I have like... It's better to just go for this one first at this point and see if that's uh, something I can... Uh, Play around, play with. If it's warded, it's not, but I got spotted anyway. I wanted to try to dodge that one. I'm gonna have to, like, play this slow, unfortunately. No. Oh, that's a little bit sketchy on my end there. If I didn't get hit by the stupid thing, then I would have been fine, but... Yeah, I, I got hit, so I can't fight the Alawi, because the second you get hit by that Alawi E, that's when you do not want to fight her. If you fight her right away after getting hit by that, she ults you, you instantly die. Because that takes, you take way too much damage at that point. So I just killed the enemy Belveth, which is fine. 
Uh, I made sure to like, double, like ult quite early for damage. Because again, current HP damage on the ultimate. Makes the difference there. She should be dead long enough for me to get the Rift out for free. This man comes to yoink some money. Fine, I suppose. I don't want to do this. I have way too much gold. Like, right now, this guy is posing to be pretty aggressive there. Oh, he just wanted to take an ultimate, maybe. Uh, he's posing to be pretty aggressive there. But on this amount of gold, I absolutely do not under any circumstances want to fight. I just don't. I'm just gonna clear the rest of my topside jungle camps and then I'll just recall. Because fighting would be a bad choice at this moment in time. Like, I don't necessarily get punished for fighting. Because I obviously don't lose my gold. But fighting with this amount of gold in your like inventory, just like, you are, my lead's not there, you know? She is probably even stronger than me at this point because of the extra recall she's gotten. So that'd just be a complete waste. So let's get the Gore Drinker here. And then, generally speaking, Cleaver is next. Let's just go Gore Drinker Cleaver. If the enemy team is really squishy, which they kind of are, admittedly, pretty squishy, uh, I'm just gonna go Shojin. Because that's... Ah. I mean, I'll, I'll stick with the general build, actually. I'll just do Cleaver. But against very squishy teams, Shojin is actually just straight up better. I'm going to actually get this here and undo this. This is fine. So just something to note there. Uh, Cleaver is the thing I just recommend most of the time. Because it's just a very, very valuable item these days. Very high amount of, like, uh, gold value out of it. They buffed it recently as well to hold even more value. So it's just really good as an item. Uh, Shojin is definitely very solid as well against very squishy comms because obviously against the more squishy comms Cleaver isn't as great But in this case like Amumu can be pretty tanky uh, Lawi can be pretty tanky as well, which could be a problem uh, We have like Belveth generally builds gauntlets, but this guy probably won't But he's just backing My boy Silas, I am right here with Rift Herald All right, sure let me just get some free cash out of this, an extra 350 on top of like the 200 I already got from the Rift Herald. Not bad. Dude, there is some aggression going on the bot lane there. Oh. Focus this guy first. Just be patient with who you go for first. Walk out of that one. Ignore the Amumu because he doesn't really do anything. Like, support Amumu does no damage. He's just purely there for CC. Knock him up first and then land the W for free. There we go. Priority on target selection there. And we're just using Zin ultimate to be able to play very aggressive. So they can't really do anything against us from range. They have to close the distance on us. Nico no ult. Make sure we ping that. Should be a finish on that one, but I'm not gonna like go too far on this because I would take too much turret damage. Silas probably could have walked up on that one and been fine, but yeah. At this moment in time, we're just gonna go for dragon. Again, making sure to use Q as many times as possible to lower my ult cooldown as quick as I can here too. Probably won't reach him here, I think. Oop. Perfect. Very good. Now, because we just killed the Belveth again, we know her blue is up here, so we're, de we're absolutely gonna prioritize taking this. Because as soon as you kill the enemy jungler, the first thing you do is see how many camps you can take. Very, very valuable, especially with the sweet system and the uh, stack system from the camps. This is crucial to do. Try to, like, queue as much if your ult's on cooldown as well. Like, right here, too. We just walk through two turrets. Because we just have the type, that type of pressure right now. So we just do this, too. There we go. I am probably fairly safe to just go take her Krugs as well. Not a problem. Goodbye. 
This is like the type of aggression that you should try to look for as soon as you get like a lead. Xin Zhao is a very strong champion. So like any type of lead can easily transition into stuff like this. And I'm right there, just walking through jungle because I know there's nothing they can do against me right now, right? Walking through their mid turrets, all that type of stuff, just to deny more camps. Because at this moment in time, that Belveth just died and lost her entire jungle to me. Which is absolutely destructive. Also, this is approximately like low gold, high silver. In case you are wondering about that one right now. I currently do have to be a little bit mindful of the amount of gold I have, but I am so strong, like as it, like in general, that I do have more leeway to stay on the map a bit longer to just like create more tempo for myself. I have that herald spawning in like thirty seconds, and that's definitely something I want to play for. Hook him up. There we go. I uh, charged two Q charges there. And then I went for the dash into like the third auto attack for a knock up instantly, so I can just land everything after that. There we go. I'm just gonna go run up to the Rift Herald now. The last thing you want to give a Belveth is a Rift Herald, so definitely try to keep that in mind if you're playing against this champion. I am still good here to just go for this item now. I, I mean, at this point in time, there are several things you can do. It's just a core of Gore Drinker. Cleaver is generally what you want to do in like 99% of games. I, mean, I say 99, probably more like 90% of games. The other games you go Gore Drinker into Shojin because that is, they're just squishy enough to afford it. This team is still reasonably tanky. So this is still one of those games where you can definitely get a Cleaver. But if they're just full squish, like let's say Teemo top lane, uh, like... Nami support, you know, that type of squish. That's definitely not a cleaver game. Ooh, yep. Yeah. See what I mean there, by the way? That's a perfect example of, like, I have a colossal lead, right? But I got hit by, Ilau by Ilaui's E. A little bit out of screen because I didn't really have the mouse movement to move it up that way. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, right there, what I do to make sure I finish off the... Uh, sorry, the Nico is I make sure to like dash and have my instant knock-up queue ready to go. So I try to close the distance with a dash first and then on the knock-up I land my W because at that point it's guaranteed to land as well. Pick this up. Perfect. We get the Shojin here still. Like, this is also something you can do. Like, if you're doing really well, going Cleaver into Shojin is absolutely disgusting. Because it basically just it makes my cooldown so unbelievably low. Uh, while also giving me, like, armor penetration and stuff like that. That they're just... It's impossible for them to fight me at this range. Uh, Gore Drinker gives me pretty much all the sustain I need alongside Xin Zhao passive for consistent HP regeneration there, too. So, we'll be looking pretty good. It's an Aurelian Soul thing. Okay. Smoke him up if I can. Put that guy away. Didn't reach, sadly. I have a dragon coming up, so I don't want to chase like an absolute maniac for something while that dragon is spawning there. You want to see if I can punish this Belveth a bit more by taking her camps. I do have Dragon, but she can't rush it, obviously. Like, she's not in a position for that. So my main priority for now will be just to take her camps first and then go for the Dragon afterwards. This way, she won't have anything to farm while I do Dragon. Battle should be here. And then I should be... I'm probably just going to help this guy right now. I know Dragon's right there, and but I don't think I should die for anything here. I think I should be fine. Oh, he killed him before I got there. That's fine. I mean, let's be real. I basically already solo carried this entire game. 19 out of 25 kill participation is absolutely colossal, obviously. Let's get Dragon here, and then we can look for potential Baron too. Keep cycling here as well. You can see my cooldowns get unbelievably low. 
because you have now all of this and then also the uh, two hits and then we go in knock up ult make sure to like land the knock up first there yo what is that champion damage jesus christ okay i i underestimated him <laughs> Christ, uh, my HP disappeared. Okay, fair play. I'm not used to that new Aurelian soul damage yet, so that caught me off guard massively. Great magic resist item, by the way, for uh, Zin is wit's end. You can also take Maw. What I, the way I see it is, you take wit's end if they don't have a lot of burst. The more burst they have, the better Maw becomes. The less burst they have, like the, the more spread out damage they have, the better wit's end becomes and they don't have that much burst like really like the aurelian soul did a lot of damage to me but that wasn't burst damage either it was like more of a damage over time type dot so i mean it did a lot of damage it could be considered burst i suppose but yeah not necessarily burst now to fight this guy consistently i'm actually gonna have to dodge your e if i want to fight him at all we just walk at him and then we dodge it and then we go for it because now she doesn't have her ult to do anything. Otherwise, that ult would have just absolutely deleted me. If I make sure to... If I just run at her and get hit by the E. I do have to use my uh, Rift Herald soon. 18 seconds. Not going to really have a choice, eh? Clear this real quick and then I'll take the red buff real quick as well. If I can then use that to potentially pressure from mid. Yeah, the Rift Herald might be a little bit of a waste because my team is also recalling on the map right now. So even if I want to defend this Herald, that would be a 1v5. I just, I kind of had to use it anyway, so. It is what it is. I'll just let it go. If I didn't die to the Aurelian Soul here, I would have gotten a beautiful bounce. But that is, uh, I guess, the past situation. We have 1650 for that. I don't know why she's taking my blue buff. Like, I really don't want to give this to the guy. Because I am literally by far the strongest here. Thank you. Dude, I have 16 kills. I'm level 16. You're level 11. I'd rather have more mana sustain, my guy. Let's make sure she doesn't hit anything else there for my teammates. I'm going to just build her back. Oh my god, I need to respect this Aurelian Soul a little bit there. Start hitting a couple camps. Make sure to get as many auto attacks off as possible here as well. Okay, that should be enough damage to finish that off. Okay. I'm just gonna do Baron. Should be fine. Pretty sure I should be fine here. I should have more than enough sustain due to my passive. Just sustaining me constantly with the extra hits I can get on this. So, one thing to do here is just make sure you use as much... Um, like, of your skills as possible. Cycle with your Q. Make sure to keep getting all the increases here. You see my cooldowns are unbelievably low. Solo the Baron, it's fine. Zin's one of those champs that can quite easily solo Baron. It takes you a while, but you have so much sustain in your kit. But that's, that thing is never really going to be an issue. Sustain is never going to be a problem. It just takes you a while. But in this situation, I had the time for it. Because of the uh, enemy team being, uh, well, very dead. Uh, do I need this? It is quite nice, but I think... Magic resist is just better here in this specific situation. Like, you can definitely, like, um... Mm, I think I'm just gonna go magic resist. If you don't go Spear of Shojin right here, right? Like, other items you go... You can go, like, generally, like, Gore Drinker, Cleaver, 
Death's Dance would be an option if you had need like magic assist first. You go like Wits End or Maw. In this specific game, I think I could just go Wits End and Maw and just don't go for Death's Dance whatsoever. This obviously gives me a lot less armor, but I don't have an AD carry that I have to worry about. Um, so, you know, it's not really, specifically this game, it's not really necessary to build any type of armor item. Let's see if I can just sneak up on this guy real quick. Oh, it's that one first. Perfect. Land to knock up and then W. Again, the way I, you see clearly the way I play against the Lowies, right? I want to walk around him as much as possible to make sure he misses his E before I commit to a play. Perfect. I just ult here so I'm a little bit more safe. Perfect. If you want, like, if you're not sure about your safety in a team fight, just ult. Because it will prevent a lot of damage output potentially incoming towards you. So that is a big one. Yeah, in this game, I'm definitely fine with going double magic resist. Don't really want to turret dive in Alawi. Just gonna wait for the bot wave to appear here. It's more than fine. There it is. Now I could. Uh, she just used that. I might as well make sure to sidestep the ult there. What is that damage? My god. Okay, fine. I tried to uh, go super aggressive there just to see how far I can really take that one. But the Aurelian soul damage is absolutely insane. I'm not gonna lie. That is some crazy stuff. This is fine here. Alright, so other options for items, by the way, for Zin. Like, again, Gore Drinker Cleaver generally. You can also go Gore Drinker into Spear of Shojin against very squishy combs, because at that point the Cleaver is not that necessary, but there's still a lot of health carved here, as you can see. Definitely still a very solid, um, solid item, regardless. A super high value item for that slot. Then we have Wits Ends, amazing. For like just like magic resist purposes, you have a lot of attack speed out of this, which helps you with getting quicker passive hits off as well. Blade of the Rune King is an item you also want to look for. This thing here against the heavier HP type champions. So you can go for like Gore Drinker, Cleaver, Wits End, Blade of the Rune King, or like Gore Drinker, Cleaver, Blade of the Rune King, Wits End, and then like a uh, Death's Dance on top of that for some armor and some sustain. Potentially, you can go like. Other items would be, if you don't need any magic resist items, things like Guardian Angel also come into play for additional armor, second life, and, uh, well, yeah, that's probably most of the builds for Zin, most of the items used on Zin. If I can loop around this Aurelian Soul real quick, because he is definitely the biggest scare. Just wait on him, auto attack move on top of him, so I can, like, I'll just get the hit right away. His red should be up, so I'm just going to quickly take that. And then we should be able to push for a game end, probably. I would imagine they win that fight. Yeah, they do. Okay, cool. Definitely going to try to push for a game end here if I can. Probably cut off the Belveth here from running. I'm from her base, so she has to run into me. There's only so much you can do, buddy. Yeah, there you go. up. Should have ult that guy away from me so I don't get hit by his BS. That's a lot of turret damage, but I should be fine. There we go. And that's it for Xin Yeah. If you guys uh, have enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the endgame stats, actually. Alright, so for the endgame stats here, I ended up doing 50k damage which is like four times the rest of the game, two times, whatever. Depends on who you look at, I guess. Aurelian Soul did a lot of damage to me, though, to be fair. So I don't, I'm not very surprised by this.
he got recently changed, so his damage just catches me off guard. I have to, like, learn his damage a bit better, I suppose. But, uh, yeah. True damage at 1100, which is basically just smite. So, damage to objectives here at 80.3k. As a jungler, this should always be the highest stat. Definitely look out for this in your endgame stats to see how well you did as a jungler. Because this essentially just means dragon control, uh, rift heralds, barons, all that type of deal, you know, to see if you're actually taking the objectives. Because let's say I won this game, right? And I had like 10k and, well, she had like 40 or 50k on, on, on her side. That would be terrible. Like, I would be absolutely griefing at that point. At that point, I would, ha I would have to like fix my pathing choices to make sure that, or like skip camps or at least something. Like, I'm, I'm definitely doing something wrong if I'm winning as jungle and I don't have the most objective damage. So, yeah, very easy tell for junglers. 43.9k healing done as well. A lot of this comes from your passive, which is, is a colossal amount of healing. So a gore drinker as well, obviously, but passive is a very good sustain tool for Zin. We have damage taken at 60.6k here as well. Self-mitigated damage at 49.5. So I took about 100 damage, 100,000 damage, 110,000 damage. Well, I also obviously did like 50k here too. So pretty good there. Gold earned at about 20k. For the runes, lethal tempo with a very solid uptime here. Definitely not bad. Triumph for extra HP, like just regeneration, plus also the additional gold. If you're like lethal tempo is just generally the best rune. So well, the best option there just becomes triumph. And the best option here is just tenacity because you have a lot of attack speed in your kit with your E and your lethal tempo, I, I suppose, at that point as well. Uh, so it's really not too good to go alacrity. Bloodline is not really necessary. Sin has a lot of sustain. And then tenacity just becomes a choice. You can go alacrity if the enemy team absolutely has zero CC. But that really never happens anymore these days. So, you know. Lost stand for 1250 damage. You can take Coup de Graf, But, like, this is just better. Because it's going to be better in closer fights where you actually need the additional damage. Because if the fight's not going to be close, like, for the most part here you saw that I, I was killing them anyway. Like, it wasn't really a problem. Whereas in cer certain closer situations, having the additional damage to win out on the play is huge. A treasure hunter here for just some extra gold. I mean, this can be replaced by, like, revitalized conditioning. Um, you can even go... If you're not going to go for mercs, you can go, like, tenacity here and then go, like, conditioning with unflinching as well. But you don't want to stack too much tenacity since the value of that dropped pretty drastically with the latest patch that's currently out. Uh, you can also take like Futures Market, Futures Market and Cosmic Insight. Um, you can take Relentless Hunter potentially as well, uh, instead of Treasure Hunter. So, I mean, Treasure Hunter is just the best because it just gives straight gold, but if this does end up getting nerfed, then, I mean, you know. Eyeball Collection is just 18 AD. Uh, it's the best one to go alongside Treasure Hunter, really. So, yeah. That is it for Zin, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.